Today we're going to be taking different lessons and rolling them all together. Perfect the stack and stick around to the end because we have a free giveaway from JL Sharp Shop. These golden pointed foot scissors. Okay, we're going to first start with reviewing table training. We have our dog back up on the table. We have our noose and our grooming arm. We are going to place her feet underneath her so she's in a balanced position. We're going to do the pressure points for balance all over. Uh, head and tail also for balance. Just remind her of some lessons that we've done before. And now we're going to uh, move her to the back edge of the table to learn to pull forward on her front by holding her head and her tail and slightly pulling back and she'll rock forward. We're going to reassure with our hands and our voice then move on to our five count stack one switch hands, two switch hands, three, four, five holding it all together and good girl don't forget to practice winding up your lead and showing the bite. And you want to bring your collar under the chin, switch hands, show the bite, bring your collar back up on top, practice it again, bring it underneath, show the bite, show the sides of the mouth as well if you need to, and bring the collar back up to the top. Now we're going to use our J-Fit balance pods. They are available on our website and we'll have them in the description box below. They are currently about $25 on Amazon. So we highly recommend using these as training tools. They have a textured surface. They're used in rehabilitation and massage therapy. There's a flat surface on the bottom for a higher degree of stability and training. You can use them yourself as well. We're going to give the dog praise and get her to relax on there. Give her reassurance. I like to start with the rear feet first on the pods and then the front because I can stand in front and assure her while I'm getting her all set up on the table. Now I'm going to say stay a few times so she learns four feet on those pods while you say stay and then praise her and relax and take the pods away. She did a good job. Now we're going to set it up to do it again because a big part of training is repetition. So start again with the rear, one foot up the other foot up. Again, I like the rear first because it's just easier for me to come up in front, hold her head and hold her steady while I then set up her front feet on the pods. Relaxing her, balancing her out. And now we're going to do it again, but we're going to tighten up that grooming arm a little bit. Get the pods in place. Start with the rear first. Reassure her using your hands and your voice. Stay, stay, stay. So they learn stay means all four feet stay in one place. Reassurance, hands and voice. Again, teach the stay, stay, stay. Once they're holding it, then you want to praise and release. Let them come off the table. Okay, we're going to show you the same technique with a small dog. Notice I have the Champ Dog Gear noose on now. I want to give a shout out to them. 
We're going to use three pods with our small dog, two in the rear and one up front. I will show you using four, but using one pod in front helps keep the front feet not so spread apart. The four pods was a little bit too wide in my opinion. So I pick the dog up gently and place all four legs on the pods at the same time. And now I'm going to give the dog reassurance, stroking his tail and his back using the pressure points. And he's doing a good job. Praise and relax. Now I just want to show you what four pods look like, just so you know. It can be done, but it does leave a toy dog's feet too wide in the front. But you can train this way if you'd like. You're going to want to praise, reassure them. They're going to use their balance up there. And bring them off, praise and relax. So same exact technique as the large dog with your toy. Now let's go outside and on the ground and continue on with our golden retriever. We're going to wind up our leash. The five count stack. One switch hands, two switch hands, three, four, five, and your pose. Hold it. Reassure your dog with your voice in your hands. Praise and relax. Now you're going to repeat, but you're going to do a different technique. You're going to use fills if it ain't broke, don't fix it technique. You're only going to adjust the feet that you need to, and you don't have to reset all feet. This can sometimes be an even quicker stack than my five count stack. Reassurance with your hands and your voice. Uh, lifting the tail, the head and tail slightly pull back. Your pressure points on the side so they use their legs in the proper manner. Pressure point on the front chest. Again, the head, tail slightly pull back. Praise and release. Okay, we're going to repeat. That's a lesson, you know, we always do the same thing repeat. Walk the dog into the stack with the front legs and adjust the legs that you need to. The stack is now becoming very solid on this dog. Give her reassurance, tell her good job. Now you can practice showing the bite again. She's mastered what she's learning on the ground. Soon we can do the full judge exam. Training has really progressed. Praise and relax. Now you can try the J-Fit balance pods on the ground as well. Wind up your leash to get it out of the way. Step your dog into the space. You're going to want to set up pods in the, about the same distance that they would need to be for the dog's stack. We're going to start with the rear first only because that's what we trained on the table. It was easier to train on the table with the rear first and balance the dog with their head coming in front. The next time we stack her on the pods, we'll do a normal stack front first, then the rear. Now we're going to use the head and tail and slightly pull back. Give her reassurance. Praise and relax. So we're going to repeat it and this time we are going to do the five count stack. Wind up your leash to get it out of the way. Start with the front legs this time and you're going to count it out. One switch hands, two switch hands, three, four, five is your pose. You're going to head and tail slightly pull back, pressure point on the chest, push back until she gets her balance and you reassure her on those pods. Praise and relax. Now say you don't have the pods, you can still do edge of curb training. Now I just showed you I have a curb right here on our patio. And you're going to set her up, put those rear feet, line them up on the edge of the curb. Head and tail slightly pull back and she's going to learn to pull forward. Reassurance, 
Fix the foot if it moves, it's okay. But again, this is just another way with the pressure points. Praise and relax. And now you can even use your front porch or steps anywhere. Same exact idea. Wind up your lead. Get it out of the way. One switch hands, two switch hands, three, get the feet on the edge of that step, four, and then head and tail, slightly pull back, pressure point on the chest so she learns that she's right on the edge of that step and that she should lean forward, give her reassurance, praise and relax. Well, that wraps up today's lesson, combining everything that you've learned in various different videos, the five count stack, the showing the bite, the winding up your leash, to Phil's uh, stack training, all of it rolled in together. Uh, we also brought in the products of the uh, blue pods. Again, we're hoping that everything starts building and is giving you a resource tool to learn from and we are gonna start on movement and do the same thing with movement. Um, one video, then another one, then another one, and then they're all gonna start to interlink. So we are really hoping that you're enjoying the content that we're trying to provide here at Blue Rose Kennels. Um, Phil and I are working very hard to get two videos out a week, plus the raffles. We're having a blast at it. But the best thing that you can do to show us support is subscribe to the channel, like the videos, uh, ring the bell to uh, be notified of any new uploads. All that matters, all that counts, it builds up. It gives us a way to provide you with a free resource. And in the end, uh, uh, YouTube will take us seriously as content creators. So we're appreciative of your support and we really hope that, again, that you're enjoying what we're doing. Um, and here's a quick shout out to my friends that do the um, nails, Color Street Nails. Got my nails on, they're lasting. I'm gonna try to help out uh, the girls selling the uh, lashes. Even though I think I'm a bit too old to be wearing the lashes, I'll try to pull it off. But let's all come together, support each other. Um, I don't really need the tanning products anymore living in Florida. I absolutely love the sun, so um, sunscreen is more of what I need now. But again, I get, hopefully um, everyone is enjoying what we're trying to do for you. And um, we look forward to seeing you on our next video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you very much. You get to participate in our giveaway this week from JL Sharp Shop, our scissor guy extraordinaire. He has donated these beautiful golden pointed foot scissors that I use. All you need to do to enter is like this video, be subscribed to this channel, comment scissors in the comment box down below, and write anything else you'd like to. The winner will be announced in a spin to win raffle next Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a Facebook Live session.